So what is in-camera VFX uh, virtual production? Uh, I generally say it's we render backgrounds behind real life props, talent, and set. So what we're doing is we're, we're taking uh, virtual worlds and then we're creating a display for the camera. That display for the camera, we call the inner frustum. That travels around as the camera moves and goes directly behind the camera so that what you see on your, uh, on your set monitor, on your camera's view, is, is fully customizable and, and you can adjust specifically for that shot, for that camera, for that exposure. And this is something that you need to get right in the calibration throughout it. And these pipelines, excuse me, and procedures are still being built up and still being standardized. Uh, and I've, I've been very much in the color pipeline world. And it's just, it's crazy because it's too complicated to try and put into pictures like this. So we have to kind of generalize this a little bit when it comes to the technical side. But so that's what our camera sees is that little black block there, you know, or a darker block. It's because we have it exposed for camera. And then outside of that is the outer frustum. So okay. we also, you can just call it outside of the camera. What that's okay. used for is to light your environment and for mm -hmm. reflections. You can see it's a lot brighter because we wanted to get some ambient light from it. We wanted right. to, it to spill onto our environment. Um, and then... So it doesn't matter for what, what kind of images do you have in the outside, outside the camera side, right? I mean, it just, you just yes. need the light. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can change things, but generally uh, what you do is you make it so that that perspective, so what is outside of what the camera sees is actually from the perspective of wherever your talent is. So then if you have, you know, like in The Mandalorian, the a shiny, a guy with a shiny helmet, mm -hmm. then everything outside of what that camera sees, which is, I'll talk about in a second, which is tracked with a tracker, uh, is rendering from that perspective and gives you accurate reflections and accurate lighting like your characters in that environment. So uh, we use Unreal Engine to render these scenes. Uh, this is also all set up with the VP Toolkit Studio plugin for pre-visualizing uh, your, your productions and calibrating your stage on the go and uh, controlling your stage, things like, you know, how big is the view into the scene? What ca uh, camera sensor settings are we using? Uh, it's everything from that to where are we positioning the camera and the LED wall ahead of time so that when we get onto one of these sets, we know exactly what we're doing. Right. Uh, yeah. So yeah, like having an the, order, because that is so important, having an order of what you really want to do, but then not waste time as well. Yeah, it's a pipeline. It's those those things that you have to develop. Uh, so a very important part of that is matching the camera in exposure, uh, lens settings, color, and very importantly, its position, its location. So we use camera tracking to, uh, to track the real cameras in, in physical space and then tell our virtual camera that's giving our background its render where it's at. So we're, we're, we're connecting that virtual and that physical camera using this tracking system to then, you know, so this is a uh, Vive Mars. This is a, like a $5,000 uh, US uh, D unit that is very good for uh, smaller studios or people that want to start developing this in an office or something like that, where tracking systems can range from, uh, you know, X, they, can, they can come from literally like, you got the five thousand dollar range. You could get a Vive Mars, a regular Vive set, that and make it work. It just takes a little bit of tinkering, uh, or you can spend you know two hundred thousand dollars on a very small uh, you know OptiTrack kit or five hundred thousand dollars on a Vicon kit. So when we talk like bigger movies and things like that, they have customized versions of Vicon, which is a, a traditionally a motion capture uh, mm -hmm. system. Uh, but so here we're just using the vibe. This is also what we're using on camera for the demonstration that I'm doing later. Uh, we also get lens data. So this is a, uh, this can come directly out of a camera lens. If you are on a fairly professional set and you have lenses 
that uh, support this. You can port this right out of a camera and it will tell you exactly where your, uh, your focal distance is and your aperture is. Here we're using the low lead one, uh, low lead encoder. Uh, and I think there's going to be a, a decent amount of companies that are coming out with those units very soon uh, because they're in high demand for what we do. And since it's growing so fast, it's starting to meet that demand. So that all gets received in the VP Toolkit uh, plugin. So this is, it's a little blurry here because this is a screen grab of a low res video. So I apologize, but we'll, we'll, we'll take a look at this UI when we get into the demonstration very quickly. So this is how it handles the tracking system, how it handles lens data, and how it handles all of the features that we've also added uh, on top of what the engine can do. Uh, so that all results in a final image, which is your, you know, what you're going to sell with your commercial, how you're going to sell your product, or, or how you're going to tell your story is what mm -hmm. you want to do. This is actually a, uh, this is, we created a depth of field focus solving system that calculates uh, the depth of field fall off into the LED wall, because when you drive the uh, camera directly straight with uh, Unreal Engine, it actually has a layering effect. So we've built in some tools. Uh, I've been, I love this stuff. This is the thing that I nerd out on because I spend hours and it hours doesn't and show. Hours. It doesn't show. So please go on. <laughs> hours and hours and hours because I love the optics. I love, you know, how do we make it how do we make it look real? Uh so